There we go. There's another one. Oh, that's a good one, too. Hey guys, welcome back to the Michigan Fisherman. Do you enjoy fishing? Do you want to catch even more fish than you already are now? Then click on the subscribe button below. I'll show you all the baits I use and all the techniques I use every time I go out fishing. Now today, we're out on Harsons Island. It's 5.30 in the morning, but believe it or not, I got out here even earlier. I got out here at two in the morning. I couldn't sleep. I'm a midnighter, it's my day off. Just one of those weird nights where I couldn't sleep. So I came out here. I went to the south side of the island. I used my green LED light underneath the kayak. I really want to see where these bass are schooling up. I caught a few fish, figured out where the bass were, so it was a good, good start to the morning. Now in about an hour, Live the Fish is going to meet me here on the west side of the island. He's been doing very well. He's been out here a couple days in a row. Check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. He's been killing it out here, so hopefully we can continue that trend today. So I'm going to head out there, do a little night fishing before he gets here. So stay tuned. And we'll see you guys out there. There we go. First one of the day, guys. Nice one too, real nice one. All right, that is an excellent start over here. It's actually not the first fish of the day. That is just the first fish on this side because we already started on the south side and this is the first fish on the west side of the uh, island. So let's get a quick photo, get him back in there. That's awesome, that's at least two and a half pounder right there. All right, guys, so that's the first one on this side of the island. Live to Fish is pulling up right now. I see him uh, See him over there, so he should be out here shortly. Thank you, buddy. There we go. There's another one. Oh, that's a good one, too. Oh, got off. Got off. Bummer. That was a good one for sure. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, man. Dang it. Oh, my God. Oh my god! There we go, finally! Finally got one to stay on. Had a lot of bites, but haven't had any staying on it. Look at that. He's barely hooked. Barely hooked. All right, guys, that's a nice one right there. Nice little one. Been a while. I've had a lot of bites. I just haven't been able to get one in the boat. That was the first one in probably an hour, so thank you, buddy. All right, guys, that last largemouth, I got that on a Zoom Salty Super Fluke. It's in the white pearl color. And I just simply have it Texas rigged there. 
and then I put the hook back through the body at the top make it weedless and I just been twitching it like a uh, like a bait fish you know trying to escape and I finally got one that was the second bite I've had on the super fluke that was the first one I landed so a lot of fun there glad to finally get one in the boat There we go. All right, guys, another largemouth. This is the first one on the green pumpkin worm, Texas rig. And on this one, the reason I got this one is I saw, I never felt the bite, but I saw my line moving. Pretty nice one. So yeah, I had, uh, I tossed it over there and I saw my line move and never felt it, but the line was moving against the current, so I knew he had it. So just set the hook and uh, got him in the kayak here. So, all right, buddy, appreciate it. All right, guys, so that last one I caught, I mistakenly said it was green pumpkin. The color on that worm is a watermelon black flake. It's a shimmy stick made by Strike King. And similar to how I had that fluke rigged, I just have this Texas rigged with a bullet weight on the front. So, yeah, it worked out. And like I said, guys, really important to watch your line when you're fishing. You may not always feel the bite. Sometimes you see the line move. And that's what happened there. Caught them all. <laughs> they know you're here. I'd say that's true if I kept them. Right. Like I kept them on a right. I missed it. They hit it right on the top. Oh, you got it. Nice. Toothy critter. Did he, did he inhale the toad? No, it was the dark sleeper. Oh. I mean, he inhaled this thing. Right. It is like... I really need to pick some of those up. Just because they're pretty much weedless. Nice. If they don't float up to the top, you know you're here. <laughs> Alright, he's gone. That was bizarre. Hopefully I got that on film. Nope. Morning. There we go. All right. Little guy. We got that one on the uh, bandito bug. You know what, I always say, guys, I don't know what it is when I have an audience, like when a boat's coming by, like, every time it seems a boat is coming by, I seem to catch a fish. I'm not even joking. It's like I do, I do better with an audience sometimes. And that proved to be true again. So, 
little small mouth or I'm sorry a little large mouth thank you buddy oh and that one we caught that one on the Guggen Bandito bug one of my favorites if you watch the channel you see me use it all the time I might have to re take this off and retie it I saw your text. I just caught one too. Nice. And I was saying, I'm not. I don't know what it is. I swear to God, every time I have an audience, it's tr like 50% of the time. If a boat's coming by, I catch a f fish. I don't know if it's the them stirring up the water and could be pushing them to you. some, you know, something. But right when those guys came by, you caught one. Eh? Yeah. Good. You said you're done then. Yeah. Yeah, my battery's at one right now, and I didn't bring a spare, so. I should probably be done. <laughs> That was pretty interesting and it has some potential but i really want to get out muscular bay bad. out that way you mean yeah. Yeah. yeah it might go for a little bit longer here not too long though i'm like there we go that was pretty cool. I could uh, I could see this fish under the water. I could see it hit it. So it was really fun. Really fun to watch him do that, even though it was a tiny one, a little dink, but still fun to watch. I didn't even feel it, but I could see it. All right, so yeah, little dink. All right, buddy.